Welcome back to this new part of the series, the not so final one, but the before the final one. So going into this tailgate trim piece, I'll just assign it a black plastic material. You can keep it carpent if you prefer. I'll try different things, but I will settle for the black plastic. And we will add a Mitsubishi um, bump to it, I guess. So duplicate that group, then go into the edit mode of it. And then in the UV maps of that. Well, we'll first start by loading the big Mitsubishi text logo. And once this is done, we will now create a new UV map. You can call it whatever you want, the logo, Mitsubishi, a back text, or doesn't really matter because it will only have one and use that UV map. Now select those four faces, apply the mirror modifier. This is important to have the text not mirrored. And then in the UV editing, you can apply the scale and just rotate it until it fits and looks good. You can use EV, by the way, if your PC is slower, you, you should get the same result. It should be visible in EV. So let me go back over here and preview what it looks like. And this looks pretty messed up because I'm previewing the color. And because some other faces are on that UV map. So what you want to do is go back into edit mode Control I to invert the selection, just like so, and then throw them into outer space in the UV editing tab, just like so. Throw them as far as you can. Now we should have a cleaner result. So let's preview that and see if it's there and while it is we can try to make it more intense it's pretty pixelated let's try with the alpha that is much better in my opinion So you can just play with the strength. If you want to make it inverted, you can. And that's about it for that part. But what if you wanted to use the car paint material as your engraving material? So open up the car paint material after copying the nodes used for the bumps in the plastic. And then we will paste those nodes. Move them over here. That was a mistake. You should not put them into that frame or else when you will move, it will make an ugly mess. But let's just move on with this. Let's plug the normal into the normal, like so. And it should appear in a few seconds once Eevee is done with it. So that was fairly simple. And it's not as visible in cycles. And I'm, I'm guessing it's because of the clear coat that is over the car paint. But in Eevee it will look fine. So select the one you want. I will go with the plastic. And let's rename this plastic material to Mitsubishi logo, Mitsubishi plastic, uh, plastic Mitsubishi, something funny, doesn't really matter. Now for another extra detail, I forgot to mirror that icosphere. So if you did a great job, add a mirror modifier, you can set your target as the hood. And then let's work on that rear window. 
selecting it, we will go into edit mode. And I want to add a loop cut. Let's turn this into a base mesh because we didn't do it in the beginning. So let's scroll up to it, rename it, very important. So real window base mesh. And then disable the visibility of the solidify, duplicate it, then turn off the visibility and render and viewport of the base mesh. Reduce the subdivision count, re-enable the visibility of the solidify, add a shrink wrap modifier because we got rid of this earlier and pull it over the um, solidify. Add two loop cuts over here and another one over there. Slide it up just here so that we have a, a kind of a notch. Now we may not see it so give it the second glass material so it's plastic in the render. Slide this down over here so it's tighter and contain the plastic in this area by adding a loop cut and make sure this as the um, let's this as the second glass material and I will try to select that loop of faces. Okay, now that's better. This will be used to put the rear win rear window uh, windshield wiper. So we don't want it to be sitting in the pool of glass. We want it in a plastic part. I just make it less prominent by sliding it down. Now, what we want to do is apply the mirror modifier and then in the edit mode, I will select those two faces and set them, then scale them on the X axis and delete those faces. We'll now select that loop and then with loop tool, by right clicking, I will make it a circle. Just like that. We now have a circular, a circular hole in the middle of our rear window. Just like this, perfect. Let's now move on and fragment those tail lights and tailgate. Selecting this panel, I will go into edit mode. Then selecting those two, I'll slide them here so they align with the panel gap. Try to make them match on the other side, select those faces and then separate by selection, just like so. We'll then need to add some loop cuts, one on the top and one at the bottom. And repeat that process for the other side. Now that's perfect, just like here. And we will need to do this for the casing, I never know how to call it the housing, the, the plastic part of the tail lights. So I'll try to select that, slide it here so it matches with the other. You can straighten it if you want. But I will hide that and so I have all the faces on the left and all the faces on the right into a new object. Now that's better. We may need to make that gap wider, but I think it looks pretty good. Except that we can see that the inner uh, components are not split in two. So you can really see it's only the plastic that is. So what I'm going to do is move that over here so it's not as much on the panel gap. Then selecting the right part, what we can do is, never mind, select the uh, chrome case. And then select those faces, increase the selection, then separate it into a new object. Well, first off, we try to make it 
align with the other panel gap. It doesn't matter as much since it's not as visible, but try to do it. It shouldn't be too hard. All right, separate it into a new object. Then add loop cuts on both sides. Now these are two separate objects. I was just editing them both at the same time. Oops. Okay, I will now try to fill up that area and form a wall. So connect those two together and add loop cuts if needed. Until they have the same number on both sides, just like so. And you can keep them shaded flat. It will add some more chaos into those reflections and that may make them as smooth. And that's perfect. Now we have that little extra detail in the tail lights done. And we may need to move that to the left or the right so it doesn't interfere, interfere with that wall. I will now try to make um, the rear panel gap a bit straighter. So going into rear view, I'll select those vertices, set my pivot to here, SX0, and do the same for that edge loop. Although you can press G twice and then E, so it aligns it with one side and you can press F to flip that side while doing it. So for vertices, with your pivot to active element and we'll do the same G twice and then E. Let's now slide this over here for the headlight, uh, the tail light, my God. I, <laughs> I never stop saying headlights. Let's bring that just over here. That's much cleaner. And you can do the same for pretty much all your panels. So I redid the front one off camera, I believe. And so you can do it as well. And just like that, we are done with this one. Let's now move on to the rear bumper. If you're happy with yours, you can keep just using it like here. I just forgot to turn on an add-on, but you won't need it. Okay, in rear view, let's work on that one. And what I did is place the 3D cursor on that um, hole of the license plate and then I added a bolt with the bolt factory but yours should be already enabled if not then just enable it into the edit preference then add on and then bolt factory and yeah it's really just for extra detail Let's shade it smooth. We may need to turn on auto smooth. And then you can add a nut. You can change it here and scale it until it fits the other one. Just like that. You can merge the two or keep them separate, really doesn't matter. Shade that smooth and turn on auto smooth. Give them a chrome material. Now, the nut is supposed to be on the other side, it would have looked prettier, but really it doesn't really, it doesn't matter as it will be so small. I'll now duplicate this for those two. And we are good to go for this part. 
can now move on to the final and last chapter of this tutorial and I will see you there.